What's the queen doing? I mean, why <laughs> get back to your home? What's she doing? Hello guys and welcome to this video where we will be talking about what happened this week in this massive multi-species ecosystem. At the moment we have three ant species, two crabs, a ton of millipedes for one big millipede, a newt and many other small animals inside. Here on Tuesday evening the Campanota singularis colony is out expanding that setup so here we have another worker just peeking up saying hello there do you have any dirt with you you actually don't have any dirt oh wow shame on you there's just a ton of life and i think it's really cool really cool to see the singularis actually out building a nest so again before they were housing under here and i tried to make a little cover-up nest but yeah they are digging the nest right here been busy trying to record in here where the singularis are still very active with going around and building the nest this is really awesome to see um we do now also have some venetus out in the background but there's still not been any issues whatsoever i do just want to show that over here where the trap jaw lives the millipede is actually out and has been out all day long and uh, i don't really know what it's doing right here but yeah it's pretty much just been going back and forward and and eating all of the moss right here um oh hang on a minute hang on a minute well, if it wasn't the crab right there, oh, the crab must be up a little, eating a little bit of the apple. Oh, that's cool and very unexpected. I was about to say, I've got some clips of the crabs really close by, so you can see them right here. Mm -hmm. So it was really cool to see one of the crabs all the way near the front of the setup. So hello to you. And yeah, so yeah, I was able to capture some clips of the crabs. I did not expect one to be out right now. That's really cool. Um, I wonder if the other one is out as well, but Probably not, but that's really cool. I really love, oh, hang on. The other one is right there. So both the crabs are out. So we have one crab there and the other crab down there. So this is the one that recently shedded. It's still a little bit orange uh, because it's shedded not that long ago. It's just so much life. And of course it is afternoon time, meaning that the entire setup is of course in night mode. And now that I've been able to record, wasn't the greatest time lapse, but Try recording a little bit of how they were running back and forward. You can't see it too well, but you can see that they were busy coming in and out. Eight hours a day, no, six hours a day, we do have this dark mode on inside the setup. So it is this darkness color. Um, looks terrible on the camera, but it looks very nice in real life. So it is now day two of this little update series. And as you can see today, the crab is down at the river once again. So these, uh, these two crabs are insanely active. And also see the fishes are on full power swimming all over the place and the singularities here have for more than an entire day been busy digging they are still busy digging um they are really expanding it and making it huge which is really cool as you can see there's plenty of space for the workers to come in and out and they are still busy 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 digging at this point as you can see here still very busy i was about to say at this point they are going quite far away with the dirt all the way over here as you can see there's all of these tiny dirt plots so yeah the colony is really really working hard at the moment okay so it's now thursday evening and something very strange has happened the singularis have been busy digging all day long and the queen is sitting right there the colony have for some reason decided to put all of the brood out here which really just seems incredibly strange um they've been busy digging 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 i don't know if because i've filled more water in but then they would have dug all the way down here but that wouldn't make sense why they would take all the brood all the way up um, but it's nice to see how the how much brood they currently have i would expect they had more brood so hopefully there's some more brood down there um, but you can really see how many workers they have right here. They should have between like 15 to 20 workers. So I would say the colony is very healthy at the moment. But this I cannot understand. Especially the queen as well sitting sitting right there. What's she doing? I mean, let's, let's hope the Venetus stay home at the moment. Because this sure is very strange. Uh, I'm generally really worried right now. The queen is on the move on the way to the Venetian nest. I mean, I, I think I'm gonna go in and interfere 
what what's happening here? What's the queen doing? She's that's the venisonist right there. She's about to get attacked by the venisonist. I just saw them out and about. I I can't let this happen. I'm I'm not that. No, I can't let this happen. I mean, I mean, guys, I I don't know what to say. I mean, the queen, the queen is just out here. I grabbed her and put her over here. I mean, what what are they doing? They've they've for the past two days been busy digging a beautiful hole right here. And now, I mean, what's the, what's she what's she doing? Guys, I literally have no, I, I don't know what to say to this. I've, no, I've just ruined everything. What? It, she walked away, I put her back. She walked away, I put her back. She walked up the side here. I'm like, what is she? She was almost falling down here. If she'd fallen down there or down on rocks, bouncing into water, everything. She kept going out like five times. I know I'm stressing her like crazy. What's, he, what's she doing? What I did now is I opened the nest. I put it down the nest and I blocked it. I blocked the nest. So physically, she can't get out now. I'd... I have no idea what to say to all of this. She's out again, guys. I mean, I... the nest is down here. She's all the way up here. All of the colony members, she's all calm. What, what can I do? What, 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 what is she doing, dude? What is she doing? Okay, just to end the story, um, what I ended up doing is I pushed the queen down because she kept running up, pushed it down, took this wood and pushed the wood down on top of her. So she's in the hole and there's now wood on top. And I can see there's a worker here who's already busy um, once more excavating. And if this worker excavates and the queen escapes again, there's nothing I can do. I mean, she clearly wants to kill herself, the queen, which I don't understand and I can't do anything about it except just hope it doesn't happen. It is now Friday evening and we've almost completed an entire week of doing this little vlog right here. What happened yesterday? Well, in the end, you can see we have Singularis workers, of course, out digging. In the end, I pushed the queen down, I pushed dirt on top, the queen pushed the dirt away. Then I pushed the queen in. She didn't like this. I didn't like this. No one liked this, but I pushed the queen inside and I took this wooden piece here and just on top. So I crushed the tunnel. I destroyed everything. I pushed that on top. On the a f a one hour later or two hours later, I went in and just, huh? and that the queen was right underneath, so I just put it back again. Um, as you can see, the workers have now dug their way so you can actually get in and out again. So they have a little this is their new entryway into their nest. And yeah, I don't know where I don't know where the queen is. The queen may have escaped. The queen may be somewhere inside the setup. Or the queen may be home. And there's there's no really way of telling. Um but yeah, that is the update. Around the tank there has been a little bit of growth. Um up here, this bonsai tree have recently started growing. I cut it a lot down because it was too tall. You have a little bit of growth down near the Vinitas. We have some growth on this wooden log right there. And it's really cool to see like around the place. Hello there, Mr. John Johnson Beetle right there. Um, it's really cool. Like this right here, this plant have just popped out. And this was the one I actually had to redo and just push down to the side. So I'm glad that it's taking on. So yeah, the entire tank is just really starting to get alive now. It is now Sunday and in just a few minutes, the lights will turn on in the setup. My little morning project is to see if I can clear some of all of the dirt from the pond because there's a lot of dirt in the pond. So hopefully once I've done that, the lights will be on and it'll be happy days. So the lights is just starting to come on and um, well, my, my plan down here didn't work at all, but I'll wait until all of the lights are on full bloom. They have around 15 minutes of turn on time and then they'll be shining all over the place. And with the Singularis being out and working yet again, I want to say thank you all for watching this week's video. Um, I have a few concerns about this massive ecosystem. Um, I haven't seen the Venices pretty much the entire week almost. They've been very quiet. The first week they were all over the place. This week they've been very quiet. Um, same can be said about the trap jaws. I have not seen a single trap jaw worker for quite a few days at this point. But you can also really see um, my fly problem. I have fixed it, I have removed the food source, so I found the breeding grounds, <clears throat> my roach farm, 
and uh, yeah, the flies should hopefully start to die down. Um, die down. My biggest concern with this entire setup is the waterfall section. So as you can see, the waterfall here is looking very nice. Now, if you look at the beginning of the video and look towards now, there's been a massive reduction in how quickly this river or this waterfall is flowing, which is both normal, but also concerning. Uh, you can see this up here is where the water is coming out. And yeah, the pump has slowed down significantly already, which it should do, but not so fast in my opinion. Um, what this leads to is we have a nice little uh, water area down here the top pond where the waterfall is divided into one river here and another river right here now this is where my like concern for like the look and everything comes in because when you then go down here and look at first of all there's so much splash of this there's so many of these look and see all of these i clean this out i don't know who splashes like this someone in here i've cleaned this out twice or three times now but it keeps this either way um I also want to say there's something weird happening over here. There's some sort of animal or something living in this area. Either way, that's not what I'm meant to talk about. I want to say the, re the, the thing I'm concerned about is this here is a river. This is my fast flowing river. Can you see the issues here? The river is not flowing. If we look at the other one over here, sorry, I'm just switching back and forward. You can see a little bit better that there is some flow, but it's still very minor. And um, I don't know what all of this means. I'm, a, I'm, I'm unsure what to say about it. So of course it's not a direct concern, but I just don't understand what's happening because back when I built it with Ryan, by the way, this whole thing is built by Ryan from the YouTube channel Anscape, so be sure to check him out. Um, when we built it the first week, like there was so high flow, so many reflections from everything. There was such a high flow in here and there's just not anymore. I'm unsure where all of the water's going. Um, initially, I was like, okay, maybe it's going over to the leaky pond. So that's why I put in a wall here, a retainment wall, and I tried to stop. Um, I cut off one river because I thought that river was leaking. It did help a lot in a day or something. And now it's back to just not flowing, which is really frustrating because when you look here, you just, you can't see that's flowing whatsoever. And I don't really know what to do. So the pump has already slowed down. We don't really have, uh, it may just be because of the pump. I don't, I don't, I'm unsure because, well, even before in the beginning of the video when the pump was working well, there still wasn't too high flow. Either way, it's how it is. It's something I need to work on finding a solution to. Um, down here is of course the lovely little river section where I we have some fish. Hello there. We also have some tube worms, I think Ryan called them. And yeah, this river section, I tried to cleaning it earlier um, and it just didn't really work. So if there's any of you who have some good ideas to how to clean this or do anything, let me know. I don't know if I was just meant to make it look like this, but just, just doesn't look too nice when you look from here because there's all of this wood and stuff like that. Um, yeah, it's, it's I, I just, I don't really know what to do with the whole river thing. It's not something I've ever worked on before. But saying that, you have now watched a little vlog of this entire multi-species setup. It's not been like an insanely busy week. We've had the Singularis located right here being busy and the queen drama. And at this point, I don't know where the queen is. I'm hoping she's home. Uh, I just want to say thank you all very much for watching this video. Um, and let me know if you want me to keep doing these more type of vlogs instead of this one clip recording. I know it's not the best edited thing, but I feel like it's a little bit better than just a one clip recording. Again, this tank is pretty much 700 liters big it's it's big 160 this way by 70 by 60 yeah so it's a big tank and i also want to clarify i just i didn't understand what i was saying in the video but this pl i planted this uh, earlier and these flowers that's the thing that's popped out it's the flowers that's popped out so yeah thank you all very much for watching this week's video and i'll catch you all in the next one bye